Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 presentation. My name is Gus Gonzalez, and I'm a solution architect at 0 to 10. Today, I'm going to walk you through 15 tips in 15 minutes or less. So let's get started. Tip number one, if you're accessing Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 on a PC, you have noticed that to navigate between entities within a given category, you have to click the left and right arrows to move pages of entities from left to right. Let me show you what I mean. So here I am in CRM 2013. If I drop cells down, for example, you notice that I need to click right or left to move pages of entities from left to right. However, if I scroll up and down in my mouse, I can also move the paging from left to right. So I thought it was a good tip to have, and it will improve your navigation throughout the system. Tip number two, if you have an important record that you need access to, uh, and you don't want to be navigating throughout CRM 2013 to find it, you can always create a shortcut of that record on your desktop. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to go back to uh, CRM 2013, and I'm going to navigate to, for example, reports. Reports are really useful, um, and a lot of people like to have them accessible once a day or once a week, and they don't want to be navigating around CRM to find it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a report here, for example, our progress against goals, and I'm going to click on run report. So let's give it a couple of seconds. So now that the report has been created, what I have to do is I have to click on the F11 key on my on my keyboard, and that will make it full screen but also it will allow me to copy the URL for that report. So I'm going to click on the URL and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to hit F F11 again. And now I'm going to navigate to my desktop, right click, go to new, shortcut, and I'm going to now paste the URL that I just copied on the system. I'm going to click on next and give it a name, progress against goals or just my goals report. Let's just call it goals report. Goals report. Finish. So now that I have a, a shortcut on my desktop, I can always go back and double click on it whenever I'm ready to access it, and it will take me there. So let's wait for this to load so we can see the results. And there it is. And this takes us to tip number three. If you're navigating CRM 2013 with Windows 8, and you would rather create a Windows 8 tile instead for that particular record, you can also do that. Again, this is a Windows 8 exclusive feature, which uh, comes as tiles within the Start menu. So let's uh, go back to our uh, desktop. And now what I need to do is I need to right click on the bottom left of my screen and go to run and I'm going to type percentage app data percentage and click enter that's going to take me to a folder on that folder I'm going to navigate to Microsoft Windows start menu programs and in here I need to paste my shortcut so I'm going to go back to my desktop or yeah, my desktop, I'm going to copy this, so copy, and I'm going to paste it in here. Now, once I paste my shortcut here, I can go to my Start menu, and you will notice that I'm going to add a tile all the way to the end. So I'm going to just start typing my Goals report. So Goals, and you can see that now I found it. So I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to, actually, I pinned this earlier, so I'm going to pin it to the Start. And now when I go back to my start menu, you notice that my goals report is there. I can always move it to make it more convenient for me to access the next time. But now you notice when I'm on the start menu in Windows 8, I can just click on it and my report runs automatically. So it's really useful. So tip number four, setting a default view. If you're connecting to CRM 2013, let's say you're connected to leads, and you notice that it always opens on a, on a view that you just don't like, and you would like to see, let's say, all open leads, 
all you have to do is select the uh, view that you're that you want to have as your default and use the pinning right here to make that your default view now every time I navigate to leads from now on my open or open leads will be the default view instead of the one that was before which was my open lead that same functionality applies to dashboards so setting a default dashboard is tip number five so let's go right here and navigate to my dashboards. So if I go to a dashboard, and my default dashboard is just not something that I want to see every time by default. Let's say I have, uh, I work in marketing, and I want to see my marketing dashboard before I see anything else. All I have to do is navigate to the dashboard I want and click on Set as Default, which does the same uh, process or the same feature that the previous tip does. Every time I go to Sales, and I click on dashboards, my marketing dashboard will be my default. Which takes us to tip number six, tweaking your personal options. When you connect to CRM for the first time, there are several settings that are defaulted for you. And you can change those by clicking on the settings button on the top right corner and going to options. Now within options, I can change multiple things. I'm just going to do a couple of tweaks for you that I always do every time I connect to a CRM system for the first time. Number one, I always like to select the default pane based on my uh, task or my role within the organization. So I'm going to click, for example, if I'm an administrator, most likely I will be within settings. If I am a customer service representative, most likely I will be working within service and cases, for example. So set your default pane and your default tab um, depending on your uh, on your. Um, position or I guess your, your uh, task within the CRM organization. Also, I always like to increase my records per page to 250, which is the maximum, just like CRM 2011. And I like to change my advanced find mode to detail just so when it opens, it's ready to go and I can make changes to the uh, filter and whatever else I want. So those are just some of the few things that I like to change on my personal options when I log in to CRM for the first time. Tip number seven popping a record out. So you notice that when you're working in CRM 2013, let's say I'm going to open an account here, and um, if I navigate away, if I go to a different section, for example, um, let's say I navigate to a different account, like Adventure Works, well, I was in Adventure Works actually, so let's go to a different one, like ADATUM. You notice my um, Adventure Works disappears. Uh, the same happens if I were to navigate to contacts or leads or something else. So if I know that I will be working with this record for a while, what I can do is I can use this pop-out button to bring that record into a window of its own. So now you notice that I have my own window. One of them is the report that we were running earlier. But this window will now load the record that um, you pop out. And now that will allow you to go back and navigate to any other entity that you need, contacts, et cetera, with the record not closing uh, in that case. It's taking some time to load. but will load eventually. There it is. All right, let's take a look at tip number eight, taking advantage of autosave. One of the new features of CRM 2013 is the ability to autosave. You don't need to click on save anymore um, or save and close like you used to be in CRM 2011. Now we can just type something, make a change in CRM, and then save. So for example, right here, I'm going to go and open uh, one of these um, contacts, like Paul Cannon in this case, and I can type something like a mobile phone, so 555-1122, for example. And now all I have to do is just navigate away, just go and do something else. So I was thinking about checking out some leads, so I go to leads or navigate wherever you want, and the information is safe. So don't worry about clicking save, which, by the way, is on the bottom right corner in case you were looking for it. There's no ribbon anymore in CRM 2013. But now look, I'm going to go back to contacts, and I'm going to go to Paul Cannon, and you will notice that the phone number that I type is there. I didn't save or anything. I just navigated away. The auto-saving functionality from CRM 2013 saved it for me. So no more worries about saving close. Tip number nine, accessing recently viewed records. I've actually used this a couple times since I've been doing the presentation for about nine and a half minutes now. Um, and this is how it works. So if you wanted to look for a particular company uh, or an account, I would have to click in accounts and then go through the list. However, if you have seen or if you have opened the account record uh, that you want to search for recently, 
you can use the um, this shortcut, which is this drop-down menu, and it shows you the recently viewed records within that particular entity. So, for example, if I was looking for City Power and Light, I can just go there, click on that, and go straight to that account without having to even see the grid or the accounts view. I can just go straight to it. So it's a really good tool, and I always check to see if uh, one of the records has been recently viewed so I don't have to open the view and search for it. Tip number 10, creating records quickly via the global create button. Another new feature of CRM 2013. This button up here is a global create. Anywhere you are, in this case I am within an account, and I want to create a case, or I want to create a lead, or an opportunity, or even an activity that has nothing to do with this account. It is not related records, what we're talking about here. We're talking about a record uh, from any place in CRM, even if I was within administration. I'm just changing some security roles or something like that as an administrator, and I want to create a, um, a lead in the system or a task, I can always go to the global create, and you can see that I have my activities here, tasks, phone calls, uh, emails, and appointments, and I also have all the records that I can create in the system. So if, you, if I was a case um, uh, representative, for example, customer service representative, I can always click on global create, click on a case, and go from there and populate the information really quickly. You notice that some entities will have a kind of like a smaller form. It only it will only ask you for a couple of questions instead of the full form that you get when you create uh, records from scratch. So use global create to create records in CRM uh, no matter where you are. Tip number 11, tracking completed activities quickly within a record. If you're on a particular record, like in this case, I'm on CD Power and Light, this right here in the middle is the global, um, I'm sorry, the uh, social pane. Uh, and the social pane has three tabs. The tab in the middle, the activities tab, allows me to add a phone call, a task, an email, or an appointment to the system. So I can always click on add a phone call and type the information. It can be outgoing or incoming. Um, I can type some notes from that phone call, and I can even say if I left a voicemail. When I click OK, that activity will be stored in the system as a completed activity. You can see yesterday, for example, I created one where I said that I called Scott and I left a voicemail. So it has been completed already. When you click OK, it will be marked as completed. So there's no better way to track a completed activity faster. Now tip number 12 is about the people who have now made the move to CRM 2013 and might be struggling with a little bit of performance or latency. So I wanted to add a tip just for you so you can test your performance within CRM 2013. So here's the trick. You're going to take this portion right here, Tools, Diagnostics, Diag.aspx. You're going to copy that. And now you're going to go back to CRM, and you're going to replace Main.aspx with all the information you just copied, Tools, Diagnostics, etc., and hit Enter. You notice that the CRM Diagnostics tool is uh, showing up now on the screen. So I'm going to click on Run, and that's going to be performing a latency test, bandwidth test, and a couple of other things. So this information can be really useful, especially if you're trying to troubleshoot access uh, to, you know, with or compare your results with another user. So I, I wanted to show you that as a tip. Now for the last uh, three tips, I wanted to talk about mobility. First, CRM 2013 came with a mobile application that you can download from your app store if you have an iPad or if you have a Microsoft Surface. So installing the Microsoft Dynamics CRM application is really simple. Here I took some screenshots when I installed mine on my iPad. So you go to the app store, search for Dynamics CRM, open this application, install it in the system. First time you launch it, you're going to type your URL like you see right here, and you're going to click on Next. It's going to ask you for your username and password, and then it's going to start processing. It tells you, please stay on this screen while we process, and it gives you some tips on how to use the application. But once the application opens, it looks gorgeous. So here we have uh, one thing that it's a really good feature of the new mobile application, which is global search. When the application opens on your iPad, go ahead and click on this magnifying glass and use the techniques that you use to search on the quick find. For example, in this case, I search for star power. As you know, star means includes the word power. And you can see that it found an account, 
a contact who works at CD Power and Light, activities, etc. So any record that match that word will show up within the mobile application only. And for the last tip, I wanted, you, I wanted to give you some information about offline access with the mobile application. The mobile application has offline capabilities. However, the capabilities are limited, which means that they are, they are read only. Um, and the records that are available for you offline are only the records that you have opened on the application so far. So you need to open the records before the, for the records to be uh, cached within the, within the system, and then you can open them while you're offline. So thanks for watching today's presentation. I was right on 15 uh, minutes. Uh, obviously, follow us on Twitter at 0 to 10 CRM. Thanks.